Good morning, lovely ladies. It is so good to be with you today. And today we are here for our live expert series with Melissa Kellogg Lewis. And she is going to be talking with us about confidence and how we can use confidence to boost our business, grow our business, and really succeed in our business. And Melissa is a marketing coach for women, specializing in equipping women for or, sorry, equipping women in professional services to build a business that they love. Melissa, I'm so excited to have you with us today. Well, thank you so much for having me. It's so fun to be here with you. You're welcome. So let's hop right into the questions. And the first question I have for you is what is confidence? So confidence is, is a feeling and it is a feeling that's rooted in trust, trustworthiness, faith, um, you know, different feelings like that. That's really how I would define it. Okay. And how is confidence and belief in self the same or maybe even different? So I get asked that question oftentimes do people or clients will say, well, how is it different if I have confidence or if I believe in myself? So I see it as two different things. So a belief or believing in yourself is um, a belief is a thought that you think over and over. And our beliefs and our thoughts are what create our feelings and confidence would be a feeling. So they are two separate things. And your belief in yourself can create confidence. Um, there are also a lot of other ways and other thoughts that you can have that create confidence. Awesome. What are some of those thoughts that we can have that will create confidence for us? Well, it really, it depends a lot on um, what, what area you're trying to gain, what you're trying to feel confident about. Um, I like to um, do different things. I have lots of different tools that I use for creating that feeling of confidence. And one of them is to borrow thoughts from other areas of your life that you feel confident. So for example, if you're not feeling confident in marketing and sales in your business, which I believe is super important to having um, getting re great results in your business, um, if you're not feeling that confidence about marketing, which many of us go through those periods, um, you can borrow thoughts from an area of your business that you're really confident in. So say you're really confident at how you provide your service to your clients. You, um, your thoughts might be, I know I can help them. I know exactly how to help them, what their problem is. I feel great about it. Um, I uh, am confident that they can um, uh, use my product or service and get results from it. And so some of those thoughts you can maybe take and apply to your thoughts about your marketing. And so that's just kind of a quick example of how you can borrow thoughts from other areas of your life or even simple areas of your life. Like for example, your confidence that you can make dinner tonight. Um, are you confident you can make dinner tonight? Of course you are. You've got a plan. You've got all of the ingredients for the recipe. You've got a recipe. You've got, uh, you know that um, the people you're going to be feeding are going, are, are going to like what you're making. Um, so you can borrow thoughts that you have in, uh, from an area you feel confident in. Um, another way to build confidence and to create confident thoughts uh, or feelings and some other thoughts is uh, in gratitude and celebration and celebrating everything and um, keeping a success journal of all of your accomplishments and going over that. You know, I, I work on my confidence daily in my, in part my morning routine. And um, I work on what are the thoughts today that will give me 10 out of 10 confidence that I'm going to reach my goal. And um, I, I write down all of the different ways that I feel confident. And, um, and so it's really, it's a practice. It's a daily practice for me. So how can, or how can I sell 
and market well if I don't have confidence? Or is that a requirement? Yeah, it, it really is. It's so interesting because if you think about it, your clients or the people that you, your customers or whoever you're talking to about your business, they are never going to be more confident about your product or your service than you are because they are going to uh, take the cue and take the feeling of confidence from you. They will just innately sense that. So, um, so the higher your confidence is and your confident feelings are, the more successful you and your business are going to be, the more sales you're going to have. Um, so can you sell and market your business even if you're not confident? Absolutely. But if you want better results, you need to uh, consciously and intentionally cultivate more confidence for yourself in your business. How do we know that a lack of business or a lack of results in our business is stemming from confidence or lack of confidence? Yeah, that's a great question. Um, usually what I see is the clients that I work with, a lot of times they feel like they've tried everything. They have taken all the classes, they have, you know, listened to all the podcasts, read all the books, and they have gone out and done all of the actions that they learned and they've done them exactly as they should be done. Maybe even they would say perfect. They've done everything that they can do and they're still not seeing the results that they know are possible in their business. And so that usually for me is the, the biggest trigger to look at, well, let's, let's examine what your confidence level is about your business because you can do all the things and you can do them all perfectly, but it doesn't matter what you're doing. It matters what you're thinking when you're doing it. And, and uh, so that's really where confidence comes into play and the importance of that in building your business. Mm. So what would be the number one thing then that we could do if we notice that that's happening? What would be the number one thing that we could do to increase our confidence and start to turn that around to where you are getting results? Yeah, that's a great question. Uh, I think the number one thing that you can do is start to become aware of your thoughts and where you are um, getting tripped up in your thoughts. Because if we think, if we remember that our thoughts create the feeling of confidence. So get some awareness around those thoughts. So if you're feeling uh, like you have no confidence around marketing or sales, or you know when you're doing sales calls or talking to clients or whatever it is, think what are the thoughts that I'm having that are creating whatever the feeling is that's not confidence. And I think just that, having that awareness alone will be a huge step in the right direction. And, um, and yeah, of course, there's many other steps that you know, we talked about a little bit beyond that, but that's really the most important thing is to just start that awareness and even begin journaling, writing down those thoughts and seeing them in black and white really helps so much. Well, thank you so much for being here with us today and for talking about confidence with us. Could you tell us a little bit about who you serve and how we can find you? Yeah, for sure. Thank you. Uh, so my, um, I serve women that are building businesses. Uh, the women that I serve are usually uh, either early on in their, in their business journey and they have yet to reach that six figure mark. And so I just love working with women um, around confidence and developing their marketing and sales skills to get them to that level. And, um, you can reach me. Um, I'm on Facebook at Avanti Creative Group. And my website is melissamkellogg.com. And um, yeah, and I have a great uh, Facebook, group, Facebook group as well called Women, um, Women Building Extraordinary Businesses. And uh, so yeah, I would love to um, interact and meet and get to know everyone. Um, well, thank you so much for being here today. I appreciate